The question of whether or not when you see something, you see only the light or you see the thing you're looking at is one of those dopey philosophical things <laughs> that an ordinary person has no difficulty with. Even the most profound philosopher in sitting eating his dinner has many difficulty in making out that what he looks at perhaps might be only the light from the steak, but it still implies the existence of the steak, which he's able to lift by the fork to his mouth. The philosophers that were unable to make that analysis and that idea have uh, fallen by the wayside to hunger. <laughs> when I was asked to do this, that what I really wanted to talk about was my friend Richard Feynman. Sometime during the 80s, the mid-80s, Dick and I would meet a couple of times, we met a couple of times up in San Francisco at some very rich guy's house, up in San Francisco for dinner. And the last time the rich guy invited us, he also invited a couple of philosophers. These guys were philosophers of mind. Their specialty was the philosophy of consciousness. And they were full of all kinds of jargon, I'm trying to remember the words. Um, monism, dualism, categories, all over the place. I didn't know what those things meant, neither did Dick. The trouble with the philosophers is that they were philosophizing when they should have been scientifizing. It's a scientific question, after all. And this was a very, very dangerous thing to do around Dick Feynman. Um, Feynman let him have it, both barrels, right between the eyes. It was brutal. It was funny. Ooh, it was funny. <laughs> but it was, it was really brutal. He really popped their balloon. They had met the great man. They had been instructed by the great man. They had an enormous amount of fun having their faces shoved in the mud. And it was something special. Dick. He was my friend. I did call him Dick. Dick and I had a certain, a little bit of rapport. I think it may have been a special rapport that he and I had. We liked each other. We liked the same kind of things. I also liked the kind of intellectual uh, sort of macho games. My relationship with Stephen Hawking has been what we call adversarial. But we are friends. There's no question we're friends. It's an intellectually adversarial relationship, arguing as strenuously as we can for our own position but with a great deal of respect for each other. answer is we should honor Feynman by getting as much baloney out of our own sandwiches as we can. <laughs> <laughs>